High School Life. <laughs> when I entered Ghana National College, oh my God. The first I was like, so what was wrong with me when I went to choose Holy Child? Like, what was wrong with me? Like, was that okay? I guessed it's an actress. She's a TV presenter. She's a brand ambassador for many brands. And a whole lot more, which she'll be telling us herself. So, without much ado, I'll be inviting Miss Cynthia Tima Yeboa. As I said, if you have any question, you can. Very much. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I hope you're good. Yes, I'm blessed for you. I'm so fine. Thank you for joining tonight's episode. I'm really glad to have you. Thank you for having me too. Okay, so let's kick start. Okay. Tell us something about yourself. <laughs> um, something about myself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there are so many things about me, and um, okay. So I'm just a, I'm just a normal girl. I'm just like the girl next door, just trying to live life just trying to be true to myself and yeah serving god i mean i don't joke with my god because regardless wherever i am today it is by the grace of god that is why i am where i am today i i wouldn't have i couldn't have done it any better way without god yeah so i'm just like the girl next door as i would say and i'm a very simple person anybody that knows me knows that I am a very simple person. I don't, I don't live my life to impress people. I live my life to impress God, and I live within my means. Yes. So, if what else you want to know, like personal or yeah, education wise do. or career yeah. or what I do? Okay, so um, right now I'm in the office. I'm in the office and. I have a show at 10. I you know I have a show. I know I, I you yeah. know I have my late night touch show. But on a normal day, on a normal day, people think maybe I just come to work and go on TV and radio. But no, I'm a channel executive at Multimedia. Wow. I am a channel. Yes. So I come to work a normal day. I come like 8 a.m. And then I come and do my channel duties. When it's time for me to go on air, I do it. So I am a channel executive for the Adum TV channel. So oh, I'm with the Adum nice. cluster. Yes. So I work. I mean, when you come to work, you see me <laughs> sitting by my computer and I'm working. I am scheduling. I do. It, that's what people don't know. I'm happy that I'm saying this here because I've not really said it anywhere. Yeah. So I do my normal duties. I am not just a normal presenter. I am also a channel executive. Some people are just presenters, but I'm also a channel executive and I'm proud of that because you know that is where I was before I discovered before I was discovered so I don't want to live it so I'm still doing my my channel duties what I do on a normal day when I come to work I make sure that everything you see on a doom tv is scheduled I have two people that I work that, that I supervise as well and yes so when we come to work in the morning we make sure that whatever so right now as I'm talking to you, whatever that you will watch tomorrow, we've scheduled up to like 10 a.m. And I, I make sure that everything is okay. Whatever, uh, maybe we have TV commercials, promos for the channel. I sit down with my boss, we plan, we make sure. I mean, it's a lot. And if you watch Adam TV or even Joy Prime, you hear a lot of my voices there. I do voiceovers yeah. too for the channels. Yes. So I'm a student as well. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yes, I'm reading my master's at GIG. Oh. Yes, I'm reading master's in public relations. By the grace of God, I'll finish soon. It's something that I I, I, I didn't want to say. I want to be a <laughs> But surprise. you said it. Yeah. And it's actually I, I the first time saying it on our show. Yeah. So I'm super so, proud. Um, <laughs> thank you. In life, just don't, don't, um, 
stop adding value to yourself. You know, it's really important. The least opportunity you get. I completed uh, university 11 years ago. Yes. And okay, I so briefly, take us through yeah. your educational background. Okay, so uh, I grew, I was born in Obuasi. In Obuasi. You see, I've been writing that Obuasi girl and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I was born and bred in Obuasi. I mean, I lived most of my life in Obuasi. I, I lived in Obuasi for 13 years of my life. Mm. I mean, from birth to 13 years. My 13 dad was, years. yes, my dad was with the um, mining, um, Anglo Gold Ashanti. Um, yeah, so we used to live in a quarters. How do you call it? Uh, it's like a community. It's, it's it was really nice. Obasi was great. I mean, the people that know Obasi knows that. Uh, yeah, if your father is a senior staff, you enjoy all the goodies, you know. So you you know. So my life, I I love. I I mean, I love whatever I have been through in life because it it has taught me to be a better person. Because growing up, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth because I had oh. everything at my beck and call. Yes, because my dad was my dad was rich. Uh, he was part of the rich people in Obuasi. I mean, people in Obuasi. If your father is a senior staff, you go to you go to the best schools. You swim. I mean, when we were young, we used to go for tennis classes. We used mm -hmm. to go to library with um, your friend is a white, and we used to go swimming. Charlie, all the things that you know that the bees do, we were doing. It was just <laughs> by the grace of God. It's not like, but you know, my life was like when it started, everything was great, and then. All of a sudden, it changed. You see, so that is life. You just have to be prepared for every situation that comes. See, a girl that had everything. I mean, we had AC at home those times, like so many years yeah, ago. Yeah, those times. We had AC. At, yes, we had. Uh, it was called Decoder. We had DSTV. We used to play video games. What? What? I mean, it's a long time ago. I mean, I'm turning 35 soon, so you 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 know that that's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I had the best of friends. I lived in the best of areas. Charlie, it was great. And then all of a sudden, daddy decides to go to America. Ooh. So daddy um, resigned from his work. I mean, we were young. I was getting to 13. I was informed to by then. I, I went to one of the best schools in Obuasi. It's called St. Margaret Educational Complex. Yes, Davis. one of the best. Yes, please. JHS and from basic school to JHS, I went to the okay. same school. Yes, and then so along the way, I think I think uh, Saint Margaret they had a daycare. It call, it's called Kidiland. So the same person that Kidiland is for was not ready to build Saint Margaret. So one way, in, I think say one way in KG two, we had to stay home and wait for her to finish Saint Margaret. <laughs> but so imagine, my dad loved that school so much. <laughs> So, but we had to take, they had to take all of us that batch to Born Again International School for just a term. And then we came back and then we came back to continue. You get it. I mean, so that was how crazy my dad loved that school. So that was where I had gone. I got all my basic education till form two. So I registered for the BEC and my dad had to leave the country. He built a house in Cape Coast. My mom moved there. My dad had to take us to the boarding house. Uh, so, you know, that school too had a boarding house. So all of us, I have three other siblings. My backbone is a boy and two other uh, three girls. So my dad took them out. They were in different schools. My brother was in uh, AGA, Anglo Golden Shanti School, and then my sisters <laughs> were in uh, Holy Child. So they brought them to me. They, we, my dad combined all of us and took us to say Margaret boarding house because he was leaving the country and he wanted to give us the best of education whilst he's not even here. But my mom was like, I can't live in Cape Coast and my kids will be in Obuasi. So he became, you know, married to all stuff. So my dad had left and he had paid the school fees for me. I was in form two. He paid everything to form three. He paid my, my brother's fees. My sister, I mean, all of us till we complete school. You can imagine that was a lot of money then. Yeah. So my mom said, no, I can't, I can't let my kids leave in Obuasi and I'll be in Cape Coast and it will be stress for me. So I would want my kids to join me over in Cape Coast. Trust me, that was a challenging moment in my life because all my friends, I had built my life around Obuasi because all my friends growing up, 
all of them were in Obuasi. Now I had to adjust that I had to leave. Mm -hmm. And I was just young. I was just 13. Nothing. I didn't have control over whatever my parents, you know, then I, I, I was being controlled, you know, so I had to just adjust and leave and take the challenge. Whatever it is, I have to accept it. So what happened was we moved to Cape Coast and I was, you know, then I think I became upset with my mom because I felt <laughs> like she was supposed to let me finish because not my real school, no. I mm -hmm. was, I had, I had, I had registered. So mommy, real school, no. And you know, one thing um, from class five, I was class perfect, class six, class perfect, JHS one, wow. class perfect, <laughs> JHS two, class perfect. So when I was getting to JHS three, I was aspiring to be a head girl. Oh, okay. Yes. And you could see, uh, my dad wrote the speech and everything for me. And my mother was taking me out of the school. Like, really? <laughs> mommy, really? Why would mommy do this to me, you know? But, yeah, ways are not God's ways. And yeah. those times, we cannot control our lives. So, I mean, I had to succumb. Because that's my, that's my mother's wish. So, I cried. I wouldn't lie to you. Like, you know, when they were coming for my things, the boarding house, telling me so, yeah. I wish that I had... I had some powers to, yeah. you know, control my mom then, but Charlie 13, nothing I get. <laughs> so I had to park my things and come to Cape. So when I got to Cape Coast, from to my, 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 my peeps were in school. I mean, my mates were in school. So a lot of people think I completed St. Margaret, but, you know, I have a certificate from St. Margaret because I, because I registered the BEC, you know, it came, but it was dash 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 because i didn't write yeah, it there. You didn't write. so i told my mom that i was very upset and trust me so i told my mom that me i cannot stay in cape coast look at my two no <laughs> <laughs> i think i have somewhere to go <laughs> you know i i cannot stay in cape coast because all my friends are in obwasi so if my mommy wants me to go to school in cape coast yeah he should go and look she should go and look for some boarding school for me because me to me it's not cape look at my two no <laughs> So, you know, every school, they, they got flowers there. And so I said, me, I don't like, I, I cannot, you know, I cannot come to terms with the fact that my mother is forcing me to go to school in Cape Coast. So finally, they got um, a school. I mean, a lot of the schools had registered. So mm -hmm. nobody wants to take a new student. So there was this school called Albesan Memorial Preparatory School, which was a boarding school. So we went and then I wrote an ex entrance exam and I passed. And then I was accepted. That was in Form 2, second term, getting to Form 3. Mm -hmm. Because then the Form 3s had completed. So, you know, immediately I went to the school. You know, they were like, hey, so I too no girl. Now, me say, they be a make bro, fool. Hey, me say, and yeah, is it? DB. I'm telling you, DB, pa, DB with hard labor. DB that my father has left me to America. <laughs> I was telling when they make a sacra and I make a cup of food. So, you know, sometimes in life, eh, you just have to be calm. I got a lot of enemies from that school because they were like, I don't know if you're a boss, but not sure. And when they be a bro, food, bro, food. Me say, when you're talking to me, cry, me say, what did you say? Hey, sister. <laughs> oh, because my mother was annoying me. I didn't want to be in the school. Trust me. But I mean, at the end of the day, I had to adjust and I was lucky. Uh, they decided to let me register because I did well when I wrote the entrances entrance exams. I did well. Exam. So luckily for me, they were about to submit and then they registered me. So when I went to the school, three weeks on, on campus, everybody had heard about that. Obwasi to no girl now. They be our couple. It's a mommy. They be about. It's a girl now. Only neka. She cry. Or for say. Or cabra. And you know, I was very angry that I don't want to learn fancy. Because my mother, I said my mother has accepted what I said, well, upset me. So me, I will never speak vernacular. Come, come and see me, oh. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, how do you call it? Three weeks on campus, everybody had heard about me. Hey, my friend is Cynthia. No, you know my first name is Cynthia. Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. I'm bossy girl. On one day, I'm bossy gold. I'm going to train you. I'm going to train you. But you don't know what is going on. So, and they were vying, they, they, they were vying for, um, uh, they said anybody can uh, contest for school prefect. And I'm like, oh, 
me from where i am i was about to even be a school prefect a girl's prefect and my mother denied me so let me just take the opportunity so you know i am a newcomer but i didn't care i stood for it and everybody said hey now give you a walk could drop up no no see no but oh you are coming to stand in that i didn't i didn't let that put me down it's, so that's another that's another part that i want people to know that in life whatever you set your mind to do don't let people don't let what people say bring you down you know so i i i stood for the girls perfect and because i was i was a, a newcomer i won and then they said okay tima we can't let you be the head girl be the mm-hmm. deputy head girl i'm like oh, no, that's right the fact that menya post me okay <laughs> hey let me pay post though <laughs> post kaya <laughs> Call me that. I love to lead people. I mean, I love people. I love to interact. You know, I love to. I love to read for people to to listen. You know, growing up, Gifty Auntie was my uh, role model. So even in JHS, you can ask all my mates in secondary school. Literature was one of my my favorite subjects, and I would always want to read. Even our uh, primary school books, I want to read for the whole class to listen. And when I read, everybody will listen. They loved it. So I. I that's where I picked my reading skills from. And I and and I knew people. That's why I realized that people really wanted to hear me Listen. talk or hear me read, and it was nice, you know. So that's why I got it from me. All because I looked up to Gifty Auntie, and everything that she does. I mean, I I so loved it, you know. So in life, I, I mean, whatever you want to do, you you also have to set your goals, set your priorities, you know. Look up to someone. I mean, you look up to yourself, look up to someone, and then you have to be passion driven. If you don't have passion, trust me, uh, there's nothing that you can do that would um, take you anywhere. Yeah. So um, what happened was so when I completed, now started facing life. I think I was 15. Was it 14, 15? Yeah. Then then results came, and I chose Holy Chapel as my first choice and national as my second okay. and then i didn't get holy child i think i got holy child and they gave me home corns. and i said hey well, i don't want to cook i felt like you know those times i mean i don't know what's wrong yeah. with me i'm like well i said what the hell why would this people give me home corns? like those times i was so too long asked my mom i was like ah ma now i'm confident over the way i'm in case but now you know those kind of things. Oh God! I just remember some of the things that make me laugh. And my mother said, "Why are you married? Are you married?" Hmm. Ma, ma, sir. So I don't know. National only them. Ah, that was my second choice. I was okay. So I took national, and I felt, you know, sometimes a eh, rejection can be a new way of opening doors for you. And when I entered Ghana National College, oh my God, the first day I was like, so what's wrong with me when I went to choose Holy Child? Like, what was wrong with me? Like, was that okay? <laughs> so I was like, I'm not saying Holy Child is, no, Holy Child is not, but I have a lot of friends that went to Holy Child, but the way I was drooling over Holy Child, when That's I went right. entered National, I was like, God damn it. Thank you for bringing me to National. Thank you uh, for Holy Child giving me a uh, woman because I rejected and I came to National. Thank you. Because <laughs> That school, oh my word. If I should go back again, I'll choose first, second, third, all Ghana National College because it's the oh my god. My my days on national campus was great. I love that school to bits. Like I'm so proud of national. Like trust me, I love that school. So, so I went to Ghana National College in 2002, and I completed in 2005. But the Ghana National College gave me the best people in my life now the best i mean if i say the best i mean the best my my very best friends all went to national the first very good friend i had was elizabeth up here we were in the same room shali i was in charlotte but blind we met in the same room we met in 2002 we've been friends up till now no. just that she's in the u.s now but i mean we talk a lot and you know royal couture is my very good friend she's in Ghana yeah. with me yes she's my best friend too so elizabeth is no one my friend both of them are my family elizabeth is more than family because you know when i met elizabeth i think the, the reason why we became even more closer is that when the same class i was doing uh general arts at one french 
because a lot of men don't like French. So right. our class, we were 77, we were 77 girls, we were 77, so 70 girls, seven, seven boys. boys. Yes, A1, yeah. So um, Ellie was in my class, I call her Ellie, Elizabeth was in my class and in my room. We're in the same house and the same room. When we got to form three, we're in the same room. But how we became close was one day, another another thing that I would want people to know is that you have to be kind. The reason why I never stopped being kind and I never stopped looking down on people is that you don't know who's going to help you tomorrow. Yeah, you don't know. You don't, like, you don't know. So just extend every act of kindness in you to the people you meet. I just did something for Elizabeth and it won her heart for me. Uh, she got sick and she, she was in a cry. And my dad had a house in Cape Coast. So I, I took an exit and took her home okay. and stayed with her. My mom and myself, we took care of her. And then she was okay. And then we came back. You know, that little thing I did for that girl meant a lot to her. Because for me to go for exit, yeah, take care. To okay. take my friend home. Like, I am leaving my status behind. You know, to I put it down for her. And she, she just that little thing. I saw it as nothing, but she saw it as something. So we became, our bond grew. And then after school, who knew? Elizabeth is the one that helped me. In my lowest moment in life, when I had nothing, you know, I used to do movies. I used to do Kumawood movies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from National, let me let me start from there. From Ghana National College, um, I failed in math. I failed in mathematics. Now entertainment near me day. Yay, Tima. Entertainment near me day. So when you went to National, did you hold any position? Oh, you you want me to come and cry on you or what? I wanted to be a, you know, like my friend wanted to stand for um, entertainment. I wanted entertainment, but because my friend, Ellie's cousin, wanted to stand for entertainment. So we left it and we, we really put all our weight. I mean, hey, Charlie, we did campaign. Hey, they campaign class to class. And she won. <laughs> so because of that, we both of us didn't want to go to the entertainment side. So I wanted to do the dining hall perfect. Now, I went for Burton and they were like, I'm short. Can you imagine? Oh. Charlie, I don't want to cry. Like, maybe my senior was mistress. Nah, maybe she didn't like me. That's why. Because she sees me. I have innocent, innocent face. Oh. <laughs> but the things that... <laughs> you see, when I'm working with people, they are like, hey, hey, my, my senior was mistress can say, hey, you, you are spoiling Timo. They don't know me. I'm the one spoiling them. <laughs> I have a very innocent face. I have a very innocent face. You have no idea. <laughs> so I'm so happy. Um, I'm, I'm I'm here. I'm so happy that I'm so happy you guys gave me this opportunity to come and talk to you. And I'm so sad I have to go because I have to go yeah. for the But my producer gave me. Uh, he's he's giving me a grace period. I'm supposed to start at ten. Okay. He says I'll go at ten ten twenty. So I have like okay. five minutes more. So you yeah. can have. Ask your questions, then I can go. Okay. Okay, so I think no man is asking, so let me just ask. Do you yeah. think friends can influence you in a way? And then how did you choose your friends? Oh, yeah. Friends can influence you if you allow them. Now, you have to know who you are with. In the beginning, I had friends that used to influence me lots. Growing up, I, I was not choosing my friends wisely. So I go by what they say. You know, even with the decision of the marriage and everything. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I had to, you know, sometimes you have to deduce. You just have to know the people that you have. Growing up is not easy. You have to choose your friends wisely because they can influence you. And at the end of the day, you will end up going down. And they won't go down with you. That's the most saddest part. You go down low. Yeah. Okay, I think someone has a question here. The person says, Do you remember me, Ivy? National Same House. Oh, 
I do. I do remember <laughs> Ivy. Yeah. Shelly House, I remember her. Hi, Ivy, how are you? <laughs> yeah. Well, so finally, just give us your final words and let's wrap up. Okay, so finally, uh, my final words to you people is that regardless, let's just focus in life and let's just work hard. You know, the most beautiful part in life is that you work hard with your hands and then you get your results. And then when you're humble, God just brings perfect people your way. Because even if you, you have the talent and you're not humble, you wouldn't get to where you want to be. But the moment you, you add humility to it, it just blends, you know. And please, I'll always add a God factor. I'm Pacho. The baby, I am making sure say the name, and never come. Thank you guys. You know, you, you guys know I love you. Yeah, I can't wait to see you on my too. birthday. Please, let me take this opportunity to announce my birthday. You know me, they me my birthday. You know, we find a sell World Cup. <laughs> and this is our playing World Cup. So my my thirty fifth. I'll be thirty five in uh, September seventeenth. So oh, it's a I'm also a September born though. Oh yeah, you have Virgo. Yeah. Oh, what day? Twenty fourth. Oh, you're correct too much. Let me show it. Okay, so um, I'll uh, tune some. I mean, my tomato. I um, mean, the yeah. tomato pizza. Um, yeah, we're doing a jollof festival, so I am cooking for my fans. Oh wow! So if you want to taste tomato jollof, I beg you. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> Just buy our Tusa and do selfie. Post it and tag. Tag me and all that. Just Tusa, that. Please. Just please, that. Like, yeah, just that. You know, I'll be going we to... We are coming. You know me and the market. Oh, please come. Oh, please. <laughs> I need to see you there. You have to be there. You know, you have to grind the pepper for me and stuff. So, uh, please Don't come. worry. Come I got you. <laughs> so, yeah. Do the Tusa selfie now. I beg. <laughs> so, um, I'll be going to La Paz New Market. You know me and the market. But I'll be doing yeah. health screening for them. Oh, and then we'll do the Jello Festival. And they will do some skirmishes. I mean, so many things will happen that day. But I'm spending it with the market woman. Plus, alongside the fans that I will choose. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So thank and you so much. Congratulations on your 1M followers on Facebook oh, and Instagram. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, when I started, I didn't even have up to 80 followers. I think I didn't have up to 800 followers on oh. Instagram when I started. Kum kum, and people were laughing at me were like Psh. and so I go we could see picture for be like I see consistency will get you there. Yeah. Consistency brought me here. I didn't let what people say uh, get to me. And today by the grace of God, my followers are so organic. I didn't buy One them. Million. I gained them. Yeah, by the grace of God, we'll go. <laughs> we'll go. Small, small. Yeah. Small, small. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you really so, so much for you. coming. You've really inspired me a lot. Yay, a lot. I'm happy. I am I'm so glad, glad you came. Thank Aww. you so much. I wish one day I would meet you. You will. I said my birthday now. Yes. I don't want to grind a pepper for me. <laughs> hey, madam. Best day you are saying. Okay, that's okay, fine. That's thank, fine. You. thank you. Thank you and all the yes, best for um, everything you do. Thank yeah. you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Thank you so much. Bye John. <laughs> you too, you too, you too, you too. <laughs>